We shall never surrender. One small step for man. If I have a dream, ask not what your country can do for you. What's the status quo of your favorite quote? Professor Buzzkill explains all on Quote or No Quote. Yes, it's your favorite professor here to examine one of the most famous quotes attributed to Winston Churchill. In the aftermath of the Dunkirk evacuation and the fall of France in June 1940, things looked pretty bleak for the Allies, Buzzkillers, and indeed they were bleak. The Battle of Britain followed almost immediately and lasted until the end of October 1940, but the British outlasted the German bombing raids. The next year, not long after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Churchill went to North America on a morale-boosting trip, both to welcome Britain's new ally, the United States, and to thank its long-standing ally, Canada. While addressing the Canadian Parliament in their House of Commons in Ottawa, Churchill famously quipped that Britain, despite being bombed almost into oblivion by the Luftwaffe, never had its neck wrung like a chicken. He said, some chicken, some neck. That's right, Buzzkillers. This is a Churchill quote that's genuine. It was said by him. No, no, really, it was. And here's the actual recording, and I'll set it up. Churchill spoke in the Canadian House of Commons on the 30th of December, 1941. You notice he starts off by saying, when I warned them, and by them, he means the French government, and the French government at the time, we're talking June 1940 now, Churchill's referring to June 1940, they were considering whether to surrender to the conquering Germans or not. Right? So that's what Churchill's referring to early on. And by the way, Buzzkillers, you may hear low banging noises in this audio clip. This is because members of the Canadian House of Commons have desks at their seats and they're banging on them. Banging on desks is a way of expressing approval above and beyond clapping, at least in the Canadian House of Commons. Okay, enough background, enough setting it up for you. Here's the original audio. But their generals misled them. When I warned them that Britain would fight on alone, whatever they did, their generals told their prime minister and his divided cabinet, in three weeks, England will have a neck run like a chicken. Some chicken. <laughs> Some neck. Okay, we're back, Buzzkillers, but there's a problem. And the problem is that Buzzkill Institute researchers can find no evidence of any French general or any French politician saying, or even saying anything close to, in three weeks, England will have her neck wrung like a chicken. I double-checked, triple-checked, and is true. There's no evidence of a French military leader or a political leader saying this. What seems to have happened is this. On June 14, 1940, the French cabinet was debating what to do. That is, do they give in to the Germans, or do they create a stronger alliance with the British and kind of tough it out no matter what comes? The secretary of the French Navy said in this meeting, quote, better to be a French province of Germany, at least we know what that means. And Paul Reynaud, who was still prime minister of France, well, while they're at the mercy of the Germans, replied, and I'm quoting, I prefer to collaborate with my allies rather than my enemies. Marshal Pétain, who would later become the head of the collaborationist Vichy French government, said that Britain was dying and that making a stronger governmental alliance with them would be, quote, fusion with a corpse. I have to say, buzzkillers, it was no doubt easier for Churchill to respond haughtily to something like neck wrung like a chicken than fusion with a corpse. Can you imagine? Some corpse, some neck, you know, not nearly as good. Maybe Churchill was given the wrong story or the wrong translation about what Pétain had said. Or maybe 
one writing the Canadian speech over a year later, he just used whatever came to his mind. Or maybe he deliberately set up the French comment as the chicken and neck thing because he knew it would get applause. He was crafty that way. Talk to you next week.